with writer and artist extraordinaire Jules Rivera of Marsh-Rocket.com. Jules, it's been a while since we've last talked to you. What's new? Oh, uh, all sorts of stuff. Uh, we have hand sanitizers, by the way. <laughs> Everything's going great here at Long Beach Comic Con. We're meeting some great people. What, what are you doing? And, uh, he's shooting the hand sanitizer. He's shooting, oh, okay. shooting the hand sanitizer. Yeah. Uh, I was afraid you were just like, yeah. But uh, since the last time we chatted, um, I've decided to uh, put Marsh Rocket on hiatus. Um, that's not starting immediately. I'm going to put it as soon as I finish up the Sunshine State arc. And uh, that's going fun so far. I'm going to give you guys a little spoiler. The next page, there will be possums. 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 Anyway, um, so I'm going to be putting that on hiatus to start working on my new series, Valkyrie Squadron. And um, currently there is a website uh, to uh, post some of the pre-production artwork as well as the Ashkin that I'm showing here. And that's at uh, www.valkyriesquadron.com. Also, there is a Twitter account to uh, follow in case you're interested in getting pre-production sketches uh, just through the magic of the Twitter feeds at uh, Valkyrie Squad. But uh, I couldn't get Squadron because it cut off the end. So it would look like Squadro, and then I'd look... Squadro! Squadro! <laughs> uh, sure, why not? And uh, basically, this is uh, a story about uh, four women who are on a uh, anti-robot uh, anti team, and in space, we are fighting droids. And uh, these are very mean, angry little, as you can see, scorpion droids, as well as spiders. And uh, they're out and about, and they're terrorizing colonists. And um, it's not just about the women, of course. There's going to be a lot more characters to it, because we all know I love my ensemble pieces. So it's going to follow um, the women, the droids themselves, kind of getting you know feel for what their world is like and what their motivations are for being so terrifying. Um, it's going to follow the engineers that support all these efforts. It's going to follow uh, a lot of the politics that go on and the space station that allow for such buffoonery to happen because let's face it war is usually the product of somebody's silly decisions so uh, um, as you and also I'm just gonna point this out the uh, book is going to be in full color it's going to be in full color and uh, you know it's gonna kind of draw some uh, inspiration for my methods for Marsh rocket because there's still going to be some very fun interesting colorings like take a couple of highlights like orange and purple or blue and green and just kind of go nuts with that but it'll still be full color so this is also meant for kind of a broader audience I'm not going to have as many characters swearing and uh, you know it's but that doesn't mean that it won't be smart and that doesn't mean that it won't be fun so that's that's what's going on that's what's new with me and we're staying safe with hand sanitizers now, you're doing Marsh Rocket, now you're doing Valkyrie Squadron. Isn't that a lot of work, doing two webcomics at once? I don't sleep very much. Do you have a certain schedule throughout the week? Like, okay, every odd day I do Marsh Rocket, every other I do Valkyrie Squadron? Yeah, it's whatever I get done in, you know, in the particular time period. Um, usually, Marsh Rocket, I, I get done during the weekdays, and Valkyrie Squadron work gets done over the weekends. Because uh, the coloring takes a little bit longer, but it's also less inking, so it's like it's a catch-22. But uh, I, I find myself that in my my weekend days, I just work more on Valkyrie. That's just kind of I don't know how it is. Now, have you noticed that the fans from Marsh Rocket have uh, supported and uh, taken a look at Valkyrie Squadron? Yeah, there has been a little bit of feedback. Um, some fans are, are really responding well, and some fans are concerned that I'm trying to quote sell out. And uh, again, I, I don't plan on selling out. I don't plan on writing puff pieces unless you want to pay me piles of money, in which case I'll write the puffy as most fluffy as whipped creamy fluffy pieces you imagine for piles of cash. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, again, I still intend for this to be an intelligent piece of work, even though there's, you know, kind of women in candy coated suits. That's just because I'm so, such a really major fan of Bubblegum Crisis, that's all. Now, are you going to screw with my bookshelf? Because I have, you know, all the Marsh Rocket trades are a certain size. When Valkyrie Squadron gets collected in trades, hardcover, what have you, is that going to be a different size and just completely throw my bookcase to hell? I don't plan on changing my printer, so that's probably going to be a no. Okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah.
And when can we expect Valkyrie uh, Squadron merch, like coffee mugs, uh, hand sanitizers, etc.? Probably when I get more full issues put out. Probably We're, okay. we're probably the latest, uh, probably by next summer. Next summer. Yeah. Okay, so next, next Comic-Con. Yeah, next Comic-Con. Well, Jules, it's always a pleasure talking to you. I'll have to give you your Marsh Rocket uh, uh, mug back at one point to the con. Listen to Drinky Talkie to, wonder, uh, to find out why I have said uh, uh, Marsh Rocket co uh, coffee cup. Yes, but uh, Jules Rivera, everybody. Thank you. It's always a pleasure.